Hi guys, it's been Bree and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are carrying on with our Violet route. We are now on episode two. So this is when it's really going to get interesting because like last episode was kind of really Previously setting everything on up. The Walking Dead. But we'll, I'll let the clam show AJ you what's, going, what's going on. For a long time, for some place we could call home. Mm. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. Yep. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. Yeah. He has some life, I though. found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. What a, what a bitch. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. Get on, Violet. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then, Marlin was dead, and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. Well then. Yeah, last epi la that episode was intense when I first played it. But it's definitely, this is different, it's going to be a lot different from this point onwards, because this is when it shit really gets real. <laughs> but this is when all of the changes happen. Because this time, instead of going full Team Lewis, we're now going full Team Violet. Which we didn't do before. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. Good <sighs> <Good old coffee. sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. This bit always made me uncomfortable. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help them fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Well, Marlin was not did a I monster because he, he I thought Marlin was again. Bad. Again, I'm gonna say he we're gonna. Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? The way that I see it, 
just to quickly kind of get the quick disclaimer with AJ it's one of those things that last time I was quite happy with what I taught him so and I don't want to change anything too much I don't want to risk accidentally for example guessing the, uh, the bad ending metaphorically speaking so like when it comes to AJ a lot of my teachings are going to be the same like you know that he was a murderer that you know the whole thing with James which we'll get into later on I believe it's this episode but like at the I think we're going to do the thing where we're not going to shoot Lily because I'm going to see how that goes because James was pissed at us last time expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Sorry, Lewis, but Let's you're go. being a bit of a dick. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Not ever. Promise? Cross my heart. And hope to fly? Yeah. That's almost right. <laughs> I don't want them to be scared of me. Or, or hate me. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck? And you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Yep. Marlin is a. Not Marlin, sorry. Mitch is a bit of a dick. I hope my camera's not lagging again, because I swear to God, if it is, I'm gonna cry. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. But you didn't kill him because he wasn't a threat. Uh -huh. Is that why you didn't kill him? Uh I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. He was too important to me. I don't want to lose you. I'm right here. Oh. Uh. Yeah, see, that's a completely different dialogue I change. You, I love you back. I wonder if Lee's actually going to show up as, like, the Walker version of him because we let him turn in this playthrough. Huh. That'd be interesting to see. Morning, Tan. Hey. Hello. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I Aww. figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Yeah. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. Yeah, you can say that again. I don't think that's right. I've you been for a court. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I'm a murderer. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But mm. maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. 
after the funeral. They buried them already. Hi guys, it's been Bree and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are carrying on with our Violet route. We are now on episode two. So this is when it's really going to get interesting because like last episode was kind of really Previously setting everything on up. The Walking Dead. But we'll, I'll let the clam show AJ you what's, going, what's going on. For a long time, for some place we could call home. Mm. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. Yep. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. Yeah. He has some life, I though. found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. What a, what a bitch. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. Get on, Violet. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then, Marlin was dead, and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. Well then. Yeah, last epi la that episode was intense when I first played it. But it's definitely, this is different, it's going to be a lot different from this point onwards, because this is when it shit really gets real. <laughs> but this is when all of the changes happen. Because this time, instead of going full Team Lewis, we're now going full Team Violet. Which we didn't do before. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> Good old coffee. I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. This bit always made me uncomfortable. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help them fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Well, Marlin was not did a I monster because he, he I thought Marlin was again. Bad. Again, I'm gonna say he we're gonna. Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. 
What are we gonna do? With Isia, just to quickly kind of get the quick disclaimer, with AJ, it's one of those things that last time I was quite happy with what I taught him. So, and I don't want to change anything too much. I don't want to risk accidentally, for example, guessing the, uh, the bad ending, metaphorically speaking. So, like, when it comes to AJ, a lot of my teachings are going to be the same. Like, you know, that he was a murderer, that, you know, the whole thing with James, which we'll get into later on, I believe, it's this episode. But, like, at the... I think we're going to do the thing where we're not going to shoot Lily, because I'm going to see how that goes, because James was pissed at us last time. this kid doesn't like. Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Sorry, Lewis, but Let's you're go. being a bit of a dick. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Not ever. Promise? Cross my heart. And hope to fly? Yeah. That's almost right. I don't <laughs> want them to be scared of me. Or, or hate me. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck? And you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Yep. Marlin is a. Not Marlin, sorry. Mitch is a bit of a dick. I hope my camera's not lagging again, because I swear to God, if it is, I'm gonna cry. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. But you didn't kill him because he wasn't a threat. Uh -huh. Is that why you didn't kill him? Uh I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. He was too important to me. I don't want to lose you. I'm right here. Oh. Uh. Yeah, see, that's a completely different dialogue I change. I love you back. I wonder if Lee's actually going to show up as, like, the Walker version of him because we let him turn in this playthrough. Huh. That'd be interesting to see. Morning, Tan. Hey. Hello. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I Aww. figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Yeah. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. Yeah, you can say that again. I don't think that's right. I've you been for a court. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I'm a murderer. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But mm. 
Maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. <sighs> this is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Oh, right. I don't know. It's good to be playing Walking Dead again. Let's finish drinking this bloody coffee like I'm going to be finishing drinking mine. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, right. Ready? But yeah, we're not going to shoot Lily uh, at that point. We're basically going to do a few of the big things like different because I want to see the different dialogues. But I'm also curious on how the whole letting Lee turn into a walker at the beginning was um is going to impact the playthrough. Oh. AJ is shaped by what you teach him. You taught him to regret his actions. Sometimes you got it's a hard job being a mom sometimes. I did that. Come on. I'm surprised, the, I'm surprised the rain didn't wash it away. I don't see you coming up with it. God, they're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more. They died. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. <sighs> this is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. It was real sweet. Like if someone took you away. Does uh -huh. everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals too. Even monsters. Marlin did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. I know. Ten. You ready? This always hit me. Like I liked Brody. You always said you wanted to go to the beach, so I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I promise she didn't like her, she just didn't I know can't. how to speak to her. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. You're right, Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. Ay, 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 yes, I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. I mean, Violet raises point. good points. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? AJ is. Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. 
majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. I don't know what to even Louis say. Needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Okay. I'm noticing this is lagging again, so be right back. Okay, right. So I've just done um, and closed down a few backgrounds in the um, programs in the background, so hopefully that minimizes the lagging. Come on, this Rosie. is looking better. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. You know what the answer is going to be already. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. Yeah, this whole thing was an absolute nightmare, but I'm going to time skip quickly because this is going to hit me with copyright. Okay, right, we're all done with that. Sorry, my hair is looking really shit today. It's like really badly washing out, but I got a hair appointment on the 14th, so it's no point in dyeing my hair now. That's good. That. There is a point, but I will just do more damage than good. Stop! You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! He's an angry kid. It, it didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... Breathe. I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad. Or sad. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Oh. Okay. We stop. We think, and we breathe. Breathe. That's actually really good advice for every day. <sighs> breathe, kid. Feel better? Nope. You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. It's gone today. I swear to God, I'm getting old. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? Everyone's different. They wouldn't listen. I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Louis and Violet. Yep. Yeah, we all know what's gonna come here. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What'll help me sleep at night is knowing you two are gone. Oof. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. 
Not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of upset that I chose Lewis originally now. You said you'd go along with it if we voted fairly. It's bullshit, and you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. You see, he's still a softy. He can't handle upsetting people. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. He says upset, you fucking... Ay. Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? I'm I don't want to give the gun to him now. Hand it over. See that he can see that he can barely hold it. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the Actually, what happens if I don't say anything? We already know he knows how to use it. See that his hand is hot, trembling, holding it. But at least AJ gives it over willingly. There, happy. Can we go? <laughs> no, honestly, no car. Yeah, like kind of thinking back on it now, I think the whole reason I kind of went for Lewis in the first case was probably because he was more like, he reminded me more like Cade because he was more like chill and relaxed and, you know, he, I think Lewis was quite good for Clem because Clem's always quite serious and Lewis kind of allowed her to be herself a bit more and that reminded me a lot of Cade, but... Now thinking about it, if I could replay this again without, like, you know, having, yeah, if I if I could replay this, um, like back Won't on my normal neutral thinking, Probably I have not. no, I have no idea if we would actually so still go walking. for Lewis. Yeah, we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Oh, Probably be harsh. Pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. He's not wrong, Lewis. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? Bye, Lewis. I said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead? He's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. I'll try our best. You know, we know you'll come back in a minute. Gun. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed.
thanks. Oh, the tension on this was high. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? She's experienced. She knows what she's There's doing. This cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? Yeah, we'll be I fine. We we're done running from all the bad people. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah, so do I. Hide! Look, his Come arm's off. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? His arm's oh, off. Shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. Down you go, Abel. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Leave us alone. Walk away and we'll let you go. Hi, Lily. Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. I don't live there. Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go, please. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Uh, uh, Clementine! Well, <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm not saying much. It's just the fact there's like reliving memories all over again. Hello, Lily. Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? Oh, I uh, wonder how the, the interactions are going to be my different. Name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Really? I thought you died. I came close. Oh, well, you stole the, the truck, according to what I, I looked us up, apparently. If you let Lily stay in the, the van with this? you. I said, not now. Apparently, if you let Lily stay with you, she takes your van. Apparently. Lee isn't with you. No, he's not. So he's dead then. Mm-hmm. He was kind to me, even after I shot that guy. Doug. Doug. Lee Rest should have peace. never let me stay with the group. It was too easy to steal the RV and leave. And then last time you were he like, oh, he left me. And other people. Probably why he kept you around. Probably why he didn't make it. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. 
You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. Tell Violet if to shoot you want Lily. To save your little one. You won't pick them. Run! Let's get, let's get them out. Come on! You you gotta run. Guys, get ready for the cuties. Yo, I like how they had the attention to detail that Abel's arm has now been cut off because obviously we pushed him into the walkers. Run, bitch, run! And both of them are going for Clem, of course. Oh shit. Ooh. Clem, get up, get up and move, get up and move. Jesus Christ, I do not miss this. <laughs> right, let's get these zombies dead. One down. The others. Where's the others? My delusional. Oh, there they are. Dead. Now you get away from AJ. Thank you. Walkers are dangerous in groups. Use E to break them up. Okay. Right. You glitched. I'm gonna die again, ain't I? Yep. Yeah, I can see them all behind me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to do an episode where I don't die. <laughs> God's sake. Right, there is quite a few, so we need to break these guys up nice and easily. Do 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 do. Right, one, two, three. Okay. Right, he was quite far out, so. Eat him. Eat him. Ugh. <laughs>
Okay, right, we're gonna time skip to when Mim gets past this bit because it's gonna take her a while. I'm tired, okay? <sighs> okay, okay, guys, I did it. It only took me two more attempts. <laughs> oh, fuck, there's more. I forgot about these. I forgot, I forgot James comes here. I should have recognized him, but... Ooh. I should have recognized him, to be fair, but at the time of the moment, I just didn't. Okay, right, I need to go to the bathroom after that, so give me a minute. Okay, Mem's refreshed up, so let's get, get on with it. So now we're with James. I do feel bad for AJ, though. Poor little sausage. Not pretty. Yeah, it's not a, it's not the prettiest sight. Get the shrapnel out. Who? Me? I'll keep him still. Oh, sorry, goofball. Gotta do what we gotta do. Right. Sorry, AJ. I forgot how bad this bit is. I know. I know, buddy. I know. I know. It's okay. <laughs> this reminds me of when we had to stitch up Clem's arm in um, season two. Nearly there. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. It's enough. For now. Bless him. Oh, oh. Easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. It's gone, buddy. I lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. Yeah, good. They're safe. Yeah, probably. Maybe I should have asked them to shoot. It sucks. Nudging closer to my desk because I'm a bit too far away. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Called themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds. Among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes, guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community, saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Mm. 
You have apple. Do Seems okay to eat. Have a name? Been a while. Since. I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? I always found James to be quite interesting. You. What do you know about them? Uh, they steal children. They steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. We just dropped it. We're just gonna play along that side row for now. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, because James believes that there's still people inside walkers, which is an interesting concept to be fair, but safe. Good old quality street chocolate. It's difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. Well, it was. It was cold as how many years? It was. Oh, poor AJ. So, where are you from? Urgent. I just hate seeing him in pain. Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. Hmm. Good memories. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. Yep. Indeed. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns. More fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> well, we'll I have to go back and warn them. It's yeah. the right thing to do. Noble of you, despite their treatment. Aww. I'll help you get back, past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. I'll help. Keep watch. 
Then we'll both keep watch. Less lonely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. There you go. AJ's asleep. I wonder if this is a chance to learn more about James or... Okay, never mind. We don't get to learn more about James. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Yeah, you know, I felt really bad for Clem and AJ when I was watching this bit. Because you can see like Clem's about to fall over any second, which breaks my heart. Uh, hurts. Hang on, we're almost there. Yeah. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Oh. Not ready. Like, the fact that this, like, mask is made of walker skin, like, just the thought of it is grim as hell. That mm. smells absolutely terrible. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Yep, come on, we're in bad shape. We need you to come out. Shit, is he? Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I got you. Oh. What would you do in this situation, guys? Like, would you go back to the school and warn them, or would you rather go for trying to kill Abel and Lily? Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. Hey, Violet. <laughs> we got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! Oh. The body's first instinct is to call out to Clem is so cute. AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand... We talk the fuck off. You said I can't swear. <sighs> we can make an exception. What do we do? <laughs> we, say, we say fuck off to fear. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good now. Bless him. Clementine, please. We need to talk. That's yeah, fine, Violet. We're coming. We're gonna make out in the office. No, no, no. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Yeah, we know. We know what she really needs to talk about. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned, and I. Shit, I got so crazy. <laughs> when I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. Oh. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, 
I had to trust you. You did the good thing. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's Aww. good to see you too. Oh, these two are cute. I just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group. I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. Yeah, we were in a true. group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, you know it was different. Yeah. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet, protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. Walker skin. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. Yeah. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. Then blame the Raiders, I mean, not they me. kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Hmm. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, mm -hmm. we can make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah. yeah. I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Like how she still has the map for the uh, school as well. So this is when we're making the defenses. We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Yep, so we got barbed wire there. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Yep, and then you got the courtyard. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. And then you got the well, greenhouse there. You guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Hi, Mitch. Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep 
it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Thanks, Ruby. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Depends <gasps> on no one else is doing Since it. No one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. Ooh. Sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... Oh, at least he's okay. <laughs> Bless AJ. Right. Now, if, at least at this time, I'm going to remember exactly what I need to do with the greenhouse, so I'm not going to be spending over 30 minutes trying to find my way in through a ladder. So hopefully, touch wood, we should be being able to get through this nice and quick. A lot of this is going to be repetition, but it's going to be, I think it's really going to be changing from the time the raiders attack. How much it's changed. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Okay. So. Foggy glass here. I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. <laughs> Shut up. Bless. Right, let's see what we can do here. If I remember correctly, it should be collectible. Yep, there's a boar skull here. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. <laughs> like how she's picking this up and oh, it's gonna look good on, look good on our wall. And uh, <laughs> we don't even know if we've got a place here yet. So if I remember correctly, we need to go up this way. I did it again. I didn't look up. God's sake! That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. That's yeah, fine. Mitch is being a little pussy bitch right now anyway. Fancy. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Mm-hmm. 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 Ever sworn to Volker's the Loka. Oh, 
Okay, there's two of them. We need to kill these beefy boys. How was he behind me? That was not behind me. If he was behind me... I'm not going to say what I was going to say. That's not safe for work. Okay, all done. Did you get him? Do you hear any walkers? She got him. Calm down. I'm coming. I'll get the door open. Oh, yeah. Right. Hello. Not bad. Well, that's what happens when you live out on the wilderness on your own for a god knows how long. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. I remember Ruby used to uh, like a lot of the uh, things in here, didn't she? You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. Mm -hmm. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Okay. Right. So we need to find the barbed wire. Find a way to open the cabinet. Okay. Uh, spaghetti. I forgot what I need to do. The lawnmower. Cool. Huh. I mean, I can't remember the last time I used a lawnmower, honestly. Because the place I used to live in um, with my ex-partner was like a communal flat. So we never actually had like a garden or anything. Absolute nightmare for getting washing done. Not that he ever did anything when it came to that. It was always me. Right, let's get this cabinet open. So. One, two, three. There you go. Easy. That's a lot of barbed wire. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? <laughs> totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. Oh, yeah, she... blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. Hmm. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Hmm. Yeah. So. so we've got that. And now we can move this lab door out of the way. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Oh my Come god. On, help me move this thing. Oh okay, good, old. Wood, two, three. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, nearly threw me with it, but okay. Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. And then this walker remind is some is someone of hers, isn't it? Oh no. What? Was like miss something? Who was she? Miss Martin. Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks. You can barely recognize her. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day That'd we be easy. came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. 
Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. Yeah, so Ruby is basically like the school nurse now. Take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I don't, if I had to, like, see any of my loved ones in this state, whether it's, like, Marianne, uh, Becky, Cade, my mum or dad, I wouldn't be able to do it. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. As Mitch said, let's find that propane and then we can get out of here. These little, these little guys are deadly. Ignite her. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. It'll catch after a, tr a few tries. Beautiful. Right. We've got the breaker in here. Thing. I actually, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Mood. And there's the propane. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good find. Now we have everything we need. Yay! We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. It can burn it. No! Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's yeah. the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's yeah, not it's all her. good. It's a walker. Mitch, come on, don't be insensible. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. Oh. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, not my fault. I'm mucky. Do you have any idea how hard it is having a shower in the apocalypse? Come on, man. <laughs> Think Master. it'll be enough? <sighs> Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Yay. Actually, guys, you know what? I've just had a fall. Pretty much all of this is going to basically be the exact same. So I'm going to time skip until we get to the point where we're going to be e we have to choose between Violet and Lewis so sorry for so for the amount of time skips this episode but I will be right back you're on the okay back. yep guys we're on the point me. can I come of course you can little guy we're at the pot we're at the time it's time to pick Violet so we just did the truth or dare game with like a sim and Willy and hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Aww. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. <laughs> I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I'm on piano duty. What? 
I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Okay. Right. Let's follow Violet. So from this point onwards, guys, I have no idea what's going on. Also, I didn't realise how short Clem is in comparison to Violet. It's kind of cute. So from this point onwards, else everything relating to Violet, I do not know. Oh god, computer, please don't break on me. <laughs> Last thing I need is for it to break on me. So we're at the bell tower, huh? So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. This reminds, me, climb? reminds me back in college days when I had to go up like 12 flights of stairs and nearly fucking killed me. I think that's what at the time had. Looks Mate. a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? <laughs> okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Oh god, yeah. Not really. Some proper I nuggets. Do. We always got them on Sundays. There was no time for grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so fast food. Oh. Damn. I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Yeah, like back when I was in college, we had to go up like 12 flights of stairs, and at the time my ex had to help me like get up because I would, I'd just be dead. But you couldn't use an elevator because it was like for uh, people with um, physical disability. So, and I could never get away with it unless I feigned having a really bad ankle, which I wasn't very good at doing. I was five foot two, I didn't need to make, make myself look any shorter to the sausage fest that was a fucking IT course. Barbed wire, hmm. traps, weapons. It's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Oh, sure. she's asking us for hangout time. Oh. You can definitely tell Viola is one of those characters that it takes a while for her to like warm up to people. I'm kind of like that to a degree. Like if I if I ever meet any of you guys like face to face, expect me to be like really shy. Wow, because I'm Beautiful. I'm a nightmare. Like my anxiety when I meet Sometimes new people I'm goes <laughs> just to get away for a while. Clem, yeah. I know you came back for medicine. For AJ, but after that, you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts it's you It's safer here, this is my home, this is where you, you are. You have to answer. Why would I go anywhere else, if you're here? I'm glad. Aww. Do you know any constellations? Nope. I know them. It's called Genshin Impact. <laughs> in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that volunteer desk. Well, like the, I do like my astrology, so me being a Leo. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. Mine's That's astrology, fucked. not astronomy. Whatever. Let's just make up our own rules, mm. signs, what it says about you. And it's not like anyone remembers the old way. True. Very okay, true. Let's do it. There. See? It's a fish. It's a fish? Is it? Oh, wow. Uh, click and hold to connect stars. Oh, wow. Well, uh, it is a fish. Right. Now it needs a personality. Right. Pretty. Good with other people. Always moving. Tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. Always moving tons of energy. The energy one is easy. That's AJ. AJ. Wherever I look, there he is, taking up all my attention. And I love him for it. He's getting better around other people. You're doing good with him. <laughs> Next up. 
Yeah, I'm good with AJ. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Let's have a look. Right there. Right above your head. And Let's they're see. all above my head. <laughs> Very true. I'm curious, guys. What, what, um... What star sign are you? And do you believe in, like, astrology and stuff like that? I'm awesome. curious. Mm -hmm. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't That's Violet. From anyone gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more time. I found a bird. A bird? Not a real bird? No, a star bird. Oh, Jesus right Christ. There. Okay, right. Uh, let's start from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's actually quite free. clever. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset. You wish it was you, don't you? Sometimes, when it all feels so heavy down here, I can't help but wonder what it would be like to be weightless. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. You can definitely it's tell the tension with these two. I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and... Now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Oh, for fuck's sake, headset has chosen the poor time uh, to die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, god, no, 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 I'm gonna miss the confession, I'm gonna miss the confession, no. It sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. There you go. Oh. I think, I mean, I hope we're more than friends. And I want... Take things slow, I'm not sure, girlfriend. Oh, just fuck it, just fuck it, just kiss her. There you go. Aww. Holy shit. That's romantic. Well, kissing under star- under stargazing, oh, yeah. Oh, come on, Violet, just do it. There you go. God, when Minnie turns up, this is gonna get messy, isn't it? Shit sticks. Yeah. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I like these two actually. My question is how do they get down? Hmm. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. <laughs> Get the rock. Fuck it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Go for it, kiddo. Everyone else swears you might as well too. Bless him. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Much, don't you think? <laughs> Good. Got them. I like AJ. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. He does. But when he comes here, I call dibs. Dibs? I'm the one that kills him. AJ, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. I know, AJ, I know. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlin? 
It's just because you should never think about killing like that. There's 12 of them now. But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? What? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. AJ? Nope. I said no. Oh, I did also pet Rosie when I was like looking around, so hopefully that may means that I've unlocked Rosie you won't always torturing be him in the next that. episode, but we'll see. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't mean it. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Not a walker. Yeah. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Okay, this is when it's gonna get intense, so get comfy. If you haven't already, get your popcorn and your cup of tea or whatever the hell you're drinking, wherever you're from. And we will go from there. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So. Uh, any final words of wisdom? Mm. You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. No matter what happens, look out! Oh, oh, shit! Shit! Fuck! Oh, no. shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Get it. Let's get Omar out of the way. Yeah, I'm in here, bitch. What are you gonna do? My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. You don't have much time. Go! Keep forgetting this is like your mash button one. Yeah, what are you gonna do with your one arm, Abel? It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took this seriously. Spread out. Okie dokie. Willie! Move and I'll shoot! You won't get the chance! Where's our new recruits? Hmm. Not they're yours. Not yours. Yeah, they're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Take me! You want soldiers? Fine. Take me with you. But leave everyone else. You'd do that? You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. Yeah. I'm a God, big girl now. Just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this 
You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? He would. Because you almost gave up just now? Handed yourself over to save your friends? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Yep, Sophie and uh, wanted to come along tonight and Minerva. To tell you how well she's adjusted to her life. How happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Oh Friends shit, that's, missed, that's made everything complicated. She could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. God damn it, Tana. Right. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. Tan, don't You'll listen. be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Tan. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. There you go. Jesus Christ, this, this is so intense, honestly. Oh, Mitch, no! God damn it! Mitch? Mitch! No! Kill who you have to! Take the rest! <laughs> you didn't look behind you, buddy. Now, go back. Follow them. Ooh. This is so intense. I don't like it. Yeah, limp away, buddy. No! Kill that one, the girl. Oh, I'm talking it talking from personal feelings, Abel, that's cute. Nope. Down you go. <laughs> Fuck it, pointless. I told Lily you wouldn't cooperate. AJ, the door. Lock it. And Lily ain't around this time, so we'll have a nice little chat, you and me, alone. <laughs> 